it has all just got on just a little bit too much. Not just the cold, the wind, the rain, the seemingly relentless icy cold weather, which makes it almost impossible to finish the jobs that we started up on deck, but the 15 hours a day, work days, seven days a week. To give you an idea of what that looks like, that's two full-time jobs between the two of us, freelancing layered, layered on top of that, filming, editing, uploading, uh, creating content, hundreds, possibly even thousands of messages a month now, which is lovely, but obviously you want to get back to as many people as you can, um, and the seemingly never-ending list of jobs that a 40-year-old sailboat just demands of you, and when you layer that on top of each other, one after another, after another, 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 it just gets to a point where your whole brain wants to... So it's February the 8th, 2023, and we are very much still in the grips of winter here in England. And that makes tomorrow February the 9th. And February the 9th is a very special day, because on February the 9th, 2017, young Hank was born. And here's another bit of Kodoa trivia for you. On the same day, 38 years ago, so February the 9th, 1985, young Captain Carly was also born. So yeah, Carly and Hank, they both... Anyway, let's go. So yeah, Carly and Hank share the same birthday. But what some of you may not realize is that Hank was actually born here in Cumbria, in the Lake District. Do you ever feel like you need a break from one of these? A bit of a digital detox, all that doom scrolling you can find yourself doing, you just need to put the phone down and just get out there a little bit more. See, for us, that's easy to do in the summer months. We've got all these beautiful anchorages, all to ourselves, no phone reception half the time. I'm swimming a lot, we're in the water, we're out walking Hank and hiking, but in the winter time, it becomes a little bit trickier when the days are short and the nights are cold. It's all too easy to find yourself on your phone just doom scrolling. So Carly and I had never been to the Lake District before, not until Hank came into our lives. And from the very moment we set foot here, this magical place just touched a little spot in our hearts. And ever since, we've made the pilgrimage every year to bring Hank back up to the Lake District to enjoy a bit of downtime, a bit of digital detoxification, and we get to reunite Hank with his mother and his sister as they still live up here. Ah, 
So this mighty beast of a Cumbrian mountain that we find ourselves on now is called Helvellyn. And this is one of our favorite spots to get away to when we're up here. I would say, check out that view. <laughs> I was really looking forward to getting the drone up to, but we're, we're right up with the clouds now, so it's all white. Anyway, one thing I was gonna say is, we made this pilgrimage annually, right up until the virus that shall not be named for risk of being demonetized popped up. And that meant we missed a couple of trips up here. So Hank hasn't seen his mother and his sister for quite some time now. And the big question is, when we reunite them, are they even still gonna get on? <laughs> we'll find out. It's getting warm up here. Yeah. I'm not taking a break because I need to. I just wanted to touch in with you guys, let you know. We're okay. We're good. We are officially in the clouds. <laughs> Maybe a bit anticlimactic for the drone, but we have it on good information that there's a good chance if we press on, we could push through the clouds and show you guys the magnificence of Helvellyn. This one's for you, Seb. This one's for you. You can literally see where the cloud ends yeah. and the sight becomes clear. Those beautiful blue skies, the sun is shining again. Oh, glorious, glorious vitamin D. Oh, let's go check it out. Now this is soul food. This feels really nourishing. You see all the clouds behind us? They're starting to, they're starting to rise up, so it's all gonna be white again. So just taking every last drop of vitamin D and, and this brilliant view as the mountains slowly fade away into the background. But that was, that was exactly, I think, would you say this is exactly the digital detox we needed? Oh, for sure. It was more than I expected. So good. We're very, very, very lucky. Mother England strikes again. All right. All we've got to do now is get down from here, through the clouds, not fall off the mountain, and then see how Hank gets on when he's finally reunited with his mother and his sister. Thankfully, the trip back down the mountain was much easier than the ascent. And then, we were back on the road. We are... We are arriving. He knows something's up. He knows something's up. Look at, look at his ears perk up. I know. <laughs> well, I was out on lead at the moment. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Not sure yet, I'm not sure yet. Hey, hello. Hi. How are you doing, mate? You good? Hello, good to see you again. We made it. After a shaky start, Hank was indeed welcomed back into the pack. In fact, we all were, as Jeremy, Abigail, and their lovely family welcomed us into their remarkable lives with open arms made us feel 
very much at home. Over that hill, those mountains, that is Scotland. That's how far north we are up in England. And this, for good measure, is a wee drum. Well, I think it's fair to say that Hank, his sister and his mum have hit it off like a house on fire. Carly and I have been treated to a few days to get to really experience country life all the way up here in Cumbria. And it's just, you know, it's nourishing for the soul, I think. We're reminded again of just how lucky we are. It doesn't matter whether it's the beautiful gin clear water you'll find in the Isles of Scilly or the remarkable coastal walks you'll find in Devon, Dorset or Cornwall all the way up here to the very north of England, just before you get to Scotland, surrounded by just majestic beauty, these huge, impressive mountains, the streams, the waterfalls, just nature everywhere. For a tiny little island nation, when it comes to being able to escape the hustle and bustle of the real world, we really are spoiled for choice. <laughs>